Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about your cholesterol spiking when you're doing keto and intermittent fasting, okay? Why is it going up? Should you be concerned? A couple of things you need to know. Your body makes cholesterol, it makes a lot. 75% of all the cholesterol that's in your body is made by your body. Only 25% of the cholesterol in your body comes from your diet, okay? So there's a huge um, feedback loop from your body's production of cholesterol and the dietary cholesterol coming in. In other words, when you eat more cholesterol foods, your body doesn't make as much. When you don't eat as much cholesterol, your body makes more. But what you have to realize is that your body does make cholesterol and it's there for a purpose, mainly two purposes. Number one, for structural purposes. Cholesterol is needed for every single cellular membrane in your body. 90% of the cholesterol in your body uh, is in your cell membranes, okay? We need that, uh, vital. Also, cholesterol is needed to make vitamin D and bile and steroid hormones like cortisol, testosterone, estrogen. Those are uh, sex hormones and they're also called steroid hormones. All right, let's go to the second topic, fasting. When you fast, believe it or not, your cholesterol will go up. Now. That's weird. Why would your cholesterol go up when you do fasting? Um, you're not eating any fat, right? Well, guess what? You're, you've already tapped out your glycogen reserve. Now you're tapping into the fat reserve. And guess what's in that fat? Fat has the major storage of triglycerides and it is the largest storage of free cholesterol. Now, triglycerides are used for energy. Cholesterol is not used for energy. You can't burn up your cholesterol. So where is it gonna go? Well, it's gonna use, be used for repair and it, or it's gonna go through the liver and out through the body. The bile production, which should increase when you eat more fat, should start breaking down this cholesterol and then have it exit the body. So you're just gonna get rid of the excess cholesterol. So fasting in general will increase your cholesterol, which is not a bad thing and I'll get to that in a second. All right, number three, keto. Now, what are you doing when you're doing keto? You're actually burning your fat reserves, okay? That's why the combination of both of these may temporarily increase your cholesterol until you, you know, reduce all this fat to a normal amount that you're happy with. And another thing that's interesting, if fasting increases cholesterol, then why would you want to fast before a cholesterol test? That would kind of make it inaccurate, wouldn't it? I mean, an average person pretty much spends most of their day eating. And in fact, there's not a lot of tests that I know of that are being done to evaluate what happens to your cholesterol after you eat. It's always in a fasting state, which is interesting. So if you're checking your cholesterol and it's high, potentially it could be because you're fasting. Now, what is the most important test that you can do to really make sure that you're um, not gonna end up in trouble with cardiovascular disease? It's called remnant cholesterol. It's a way better indicator than so-called LDL. Remnant cholesterol is basically what's left over from cholesterol once you've minus the HDL and the LDL. And by the way, HDL and LDL, they're not, it's not cholesterol. It's certain cargo ships or boats that are carrying cholesterol. So what you're gonna do is you take your total cholesterol minus the HDL and the LDL, and that will give you your remnant cholesterol, okay? And here is the rating system. If you're 17 or less, it's optimum, okay? If it's between 18 and 23, you're okay. If it's 24 to 29, it's concerning. And if it's greater than 30, it's very concerning. The only way that it's gonna be in these two categories is if you're consuming refined carbs or sugar or you're doing something to increase insulin, okay? If you keep your insulin low, even though your cholesterol might be high, or even the LDL might be high, you'll have low remnant cholesterol. Why? Because your body is using the triglycerides in the fat and it's mobilizing cholesterol through the body and it's coming out and there's not a lot of remnant left. So use the scale as a better indicator to know if you're in the safe zone. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.